Hello, my beautiful fragrance friends and perfume lovers. My name is Kate, and you're very welcome here on my channel where I talk about fragrances. In this video, we're going to discuss a newbie from Guerlain, Shalimar, Milizim Iris, so Iris, uh, the one that just came out recently. I'm very excited to talk about this launch because I liked it enough to just go and get a bottle of it. But before that, don't forget to subscribe, to give this video a like, and just stay with me for more. We have a lot of fun here and discuss a lot of great, beautiful fragrances. Okay, so about this new launch of Milizim. I like it, and I'm going to share my opinion. Okay, I already kind of shared my opinion with you. I'm going to expand and tell you why I like it. By the way, uh, while I'm spraying it, tell me what you think. Did you try it? What, what's your opinion on this new Shalimar? Because I know that the opinions are a little bit polarized and some people think that it's not a real Shalimar. Some people say, oh, finally we got something we wanted. So I'm really curious what you think. So it's a classic Shalimar. This one opens with bergamot in the top notes. It's definitely citrusy. And then very quickly it transforms into this pretty strong iris. I love this iris here. It's just the iris I like. I don't really enjoy smelling iris when it's too much like a carrot or when it's very papery and very dry. I don't love uh, very dry scents. This one is exactly for me. I'm actually starting to explore irises now because I noticed that I have been neglecting this note. So if you have your favorite irises, please write in the comments and um, I'm, I will be really happy to test them. Okay, so coming back. So then in the base, it becomes softer and not as iris forward. So if I were to describe to you what exactly I smell here, please imagine the uh, little wooden box. You open this box and you see this caramelized candied iris petals in it that are sitting on um, vanilla powder. And you put this box like this to your nose and this is how it smells. I think that to describe what I smell here, this is the best picture. I don't know how to describe it more exactly. Some people complain that uh, it's too soft and it lost its character. I don't think so. I just think that this is Shalimar for beginners. You know, it's um, kind of a step towards uh, a little bit more serious and strong and potent Shalimar, uh, which is this. I have the regular ADP that you can buy uh, at stores today. I actually also have the 60s version of Extrait de Parfum, so Extract. Um, if you want me to film a video about that, please let me know. I just decided not include it here. So yeah. That's what I think about uh, this new Irish Shalimar. I think it's wonderful. And it reminds me a little bit of uh, Filtre de Parfum, uh, that fragrance, because they both are softer. They both are for Shalimar beginners, you know? So if you're afraid and not ready for this, you can start here. And I think you might be really, really happy with it. And yes, I have a little surprise to you. If you notice, there's um, this small guy sitting here. And this is actually... Shalimar uh, Milizim Tonka, the one that was launched last year. I don't have a bottle, as you see, but I also wanted to share my opinion on this guy with you, Tonka. It opens up with a little bit of bergamot, of course, because this is classic Shalimar structure, but there's also this beautiful almond. I really like almond here. Almond cherry, you know, Tonka beans, uh, they uh, smell like cherry a little bit, cinnamon, and almond, like this trio together. If you're not sure how tonka beans smell in a fragrance, uh, just go to your closest Sephora or just Killian Boutique or wherever they sell Killian and smell Angel's Share. So Angel's Share is a very good representation of how tonka beans smell in fragrances, that note, because it's really tonka forward. This one is softer version because it's more powdery, it's easier, it's not as strong as Angel Share or any other fragrances from that family. Uh, in the dry down, it becomes, of course, more and more powdery, more vanilla, but um, the Tonka beans, they don't let it become too sweet and too soft. For example, what um, other people complain about in this Irish Shalimar 
is that it's too soft and fluffy, that it's um, not as strong and serious. This one is somewhere in the middle between regular DP version and iris version because it's not as light, but it's not as strong. And um, also a couple words about the regular uh, Shalimar EDP version. I um, cannot say that I'm a huge fan. I respect it, but again, I like uh, the 60s version much better than uh, the modern version. I understand that they try to do whatever they want to keep it alive and keep it beautiful. Just maybe not exactly my favorite fragrance. Yeah, it starts a little bit rubbery to me. So this bergamot and leather and all these flowers and animalic notes. By the way, sorry for the sounds everywhere. <laughs> you know, there's ambulance or my neighbors doing some renovations. Like everything's happening here, but it's New York. I cannot do anything. I hope that the mic blocks uh, some of it out, but please just ignore it if you can hear it. Yes. Uh, this Shalimar is uh, more citrusy than these versions. I guess they just put the citrus a little bit aside so it doesn't distract us from Tonka and Iris. This one is uh, yeah, about citrus and vanilla and amber and a little bit of leather and slightly animalic touch. To me, it doesn't smell too animalic. For a lot of people, it does. So I cannot say that it's not animalic. Oh, yeah. So I like it a lot now. This is my opinion on three Shalimars. The two years ago launch of Shalimar Vanilla, I think it was called Melisim Vanilla, correct me if I'm wrong. I never smelled it, so I cannot tell you what I think about it. Uh, but at least I have understanding about these guys and I'm really happy about it. So what do you think? Tell me, have you tried it? Have you tried any of these fragrances? Let me know what you think. And of course, let's meet in my other videos. Bye-bye.